The main attraction has arrived. Team, this is the man we're pinning all our hopes on. Best shot I've ever seen in Nerves of Steel. He's great hunt material, all right. What do you say, Hunter? Ready to meet your team? My team. I like the sound of that. Hey, look who's back. How'd it go out there, hotshot? Find anything? I found out I enjoy killing gangsters. A lot. What's this? A lawman of sorts? Never thought I'd see the day Dashing Vex would get cornered by an ugly alien brute. I'm not sure dashing is the word you're looking for. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh, no. Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick-draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears off so fast, you won't even hear yourself scream. Show me. Cheater! You have killed many evil Kai warriors today. Do not return here. A man of my particular skills goes anywhere he wants. Oh, wala manga, tuske yuwara ma, da blota wija ma. You're kind of a one solution hut. Yo kato krista. Hey, I think I've got something for you. I was hoping you'd say that. That's not what I meant. You're a bad one. Kanta chota, kasa yuli koira to le kankitong. I've got no idea who you are or why I should care. I love you too, Nemro. Really. You just get more and more impressive. You'll be seeing a lot of me. Hope that's true. I'm gonna kill you, Nemro. Short version, lady. There's a bounty hunter coming to take you to the Empire, where you'll probably die or at least be tortured. Oh, my. Shambalumi Lois. Porzo Utvas. Tortor Takis. Bahak Fo Lankas. I never killed a. What is he again, Mako? Trandoshan. Rhymes with dead meat. Akyaruno Rakma. Udbakolua. Rakma Grenok. Why does it always come to violence? Ugh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummondkoss is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. Still smells better than a hutta. That's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Keep in mind, Imperials aren't fond of aliens. Step out of line, and they'll notice. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were gonna say that? You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Koss. You expect us to hunt here, with Imperials crawling all over us, and Sith? If you're afraid to compete, the spaceport's that away. My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter. From an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places. And, for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. You're sort of close-minded, aren't you? Call me crazy, but I think people should be lovers or siblings. Make a choice and stick to it. Bounty Hunter, I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. You're a funny man, Sergeant. Think of that joke all by yourself. Don't get cute. Not much of a family resemblance between you and your brother. We, 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 and different mothers. Yes, that's right. 
We're only half siblings. Uh, unless I'm misremembering. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. My darling, my lovely El Tucker. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. Uh, what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I don't think so. I doubt the Admiral would have anything to do with your kind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna shoot you in the head. What? You wouldn't dare. What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome alien here, Admiral. It refuses to leave. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. Next time, bang. The Admiral is waiting. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. One red-headed Sith child coming up. Yes. Red-headed. Like myself and her mother. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. Oh, what have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. What does it matter who kills you? A woman has to have standards. Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith, and you're just... Uh, whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Uh, what? I, I lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. It can't end like this. It can't. It's time you and your father had a chat. What? No, that's worse. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... I made her into a fancy paperweight. You... you froze her. You've done me a great service, Hunter. She's all I have of her mother. Great services deserve great rewards. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery. And it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to the temple? Because you've got warrior instincts, like me. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! If I die, bury my credits with me. No inheritance, huh? Thanks a lot. Don't get cute. Now, about your ship. There's a tradition for new hunters. You gotta steal one for yourself. Guess I'll be heading to the spaceport. This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? Can you repeat all that into this barrel? Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Greetings. I am 2VR8, factotum droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Your last master isn't coming back. Got a problem with that? Absolutely not. The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. Guess the death toll isn't high enough if they're still fighting. 
And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only hunter left standing. Good luck. I make my own luck. That's what I like most about you. Who there? Bounty hunter! We want a word with you! Take a number and get in line. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum! You got anything to say for yourself? Vex had a bounty on him. I'm a bounty hunter. End of story. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? Generous pay is my favorite term. I can't believe we're still alive. Don't act so surprised. I swear I'll go straight. I've come all the way here just to see you executed in person. No, sir. I can explain. I just... You, bounty hunter, help the Admiral understand. Explain it to him. Keep talking, Perel. I'm really enjoying this. Please don't kill me. I beg you. I don't want to die. I, I'll transfer a large sum of credits to your account, and I'll blame the Cathar for everything. Just please don't kill me. For the love of the Emperor, let me live. Oh, I can't stand to see a grown Imperial cry. I am Darth Lacris, and I'm here to cleanse Valmora. They say you're the best, Bounty Hunter. You're wasted working for those incompetents in Sobrick. Gorgeous, murderous, and an eye for talent. We should talk. We should. Do you... Ah, but business first. I'm told the factory's generators are inexhaustible, its defenses cutting edge, its barricades block our scans, giving the Resistance peace and privacy. Sounds intolerable. After we're done here, maybe I can help you work out your frustrations. Deliver me Balmora, and we'll work out anything you like. We broke the peace treaty that keeps our worlds whole. And for that, I apologize to all citizens of the galaxy. There are protests on the streets of Coruscant. Republic ships are withdrawing from three sectors. You humiliated them. Your enemies are beaten, and your position is secure. But our partnership doesn't have to end there. How bold for a man who should fear the Sith. But you don't fear. What is it you see with those force-blind eyes? I see a risk worth taking. <laughs> Come with me, then. It has been an enjoyable day. My governorship would be very different without you. You have my gratitude for your assistance. Next time you need assistance, let me know. I have skills you haven't seen. I'll remember it. It's time I return to ruling. There are new reports of resistance activity. Should you choose to remain on Balmora, perhaps I'll call on you again. Can't use thermal detonators. Too small. Need beradium charges, like the ones Brel made, before he blew up. Hang on, hang on, wait, hey, you're hearing that out of context. Brel blew himself up because he got cocky. These beradium charges are perfectly safe. You got my word. Always wanted to go out with a bang. That's the spirit. Ha! I wish I had a dozen of you working for me. Uh, uh, you know, with me. Stop. I've been watching you on the surveillance monitors. I know what you're doing. You've got to stop. Please. There are dozens of civilian technicians and engineers working here. If you blow up this facility, they'll all be killed. Maybe they should be getting out of here, then. Did you feel it? Huh? <laughs> the Eidolon's property will rain down on the streets for days. I could already hear his holo conversation with the Republic. Were those our billions of credits going up in smoke? <laughs> Maybe the Eidolon will ask you for a loan. <laughs> yeah. I'd give my left leg to see that gank beg me for credits. A clan of Ugnaughts got into the Great Hunt by building a bizarre war droid that they would ride inside of. The thing's blaster cannons blew up during the Grand Melee. Everyone was killed except the Ugnaughts inside the armored droid, making them the winners. Please say this is a joke. Hey, as possible rival bounty hunters go, these might not be too bad. Assuming they haven't finished their new war droid. But it'd probably be a good idea to get them before they finish... You're assuming they haven't blown themselves up. Yeah, maybe they already have. You never know. Okay, that should take care of Z's encryption programs, transmitters in place. Let me slice into Eidolon's network. 
Wow, this is tough. I knew he wasn't kidding. The Eidolon's hole in it, guys. Know their stuff. Don't worry. I'll tell your boyfriend how impressive you were. Who? Anuli? He is not my boyfriend. We just grew up together. He's more like my little brother. Z was right. You must be insane. Otherwise, why would you be here? You have very little time to talk. Don't spend it posturing. Who put you up to this? Was it the cartel? There was nothing else interesting happening on this dull moon. If you wish to meet me, come to these coordinates. I'll be sitting right here, waiting for you. Of course, the second you step out of the door, you're dead. Shame, really, since our confrontation would have been most exhilarating. Now you'll get to see what bounty hunters are all about. You don't know how much I want that to be true. It was a pleasure to meet you. Opponents like you are very rare and precious. I regret having to kill you. Wait, I've got a priority message from Solash. He's another cartel lieutenant. He's offering a huge bounty if you bring him the Eidolon, alive. The Huts want to do terrible things to you. Well, what are you waiting for? You've done it. You've beaten me. Finish it now, and be remembered forever as the hunter who killed the Eidolon. You're mighty proud of yourself, aren't you? We're not like the Eidolon, right? We're different. What do you mean? I mean, assassins kill people for money. You kill people for money. How are you different from the Eidolon? Maybe I'm not. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Start talking. How'd you get this list? Some guy said he was a Mandalorian. He got me the codes to break in. Said I could sell the names and make a fortune. You deserve this, moron. No! Wait! Please! You're right! Nobody. Where can we find this Gellaroring droid? Gellaroring's vessel is awaiting departure clearance in docking bay 64. Do you wish for me to contact him? I want my visit to be a surprise. Unfortunately, uh, I'm a bit rushed. Uh, look me up on Narshida, won't you? The name's Rowing. That's R-O-I-N-G. Drop the act. You're Tiresias Loci. Sorry, I don't know any Tiresias. Who exactly are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a bounty hunter. What else would I be? Before we could draw blasters, the Deveronian cuts a deal. Not only did he buy off the bounty hunter, he convinced him to sell his own starship. Some bounty hunters have no sense of professionalism. Who's this Lady of Pain? Your wife? How'd she get to be called the Lady of Pain? She works for the Exchange. They're into a lot of sick stuff. She can't get enough of it. Guess we're off to see the Lady of Pain, huh? This should be interesting. Surely I can offer you something, lady. An HK assassin droid? Fresh slaves? Direct from Ryloth? I already have those. Stop wasting my time. What's wrong, Tiresias? Can't buy your way out of this? I need you to eliminate this bounty hunter and help me leave Tatooine. I'll pay generously, of course. Intriguing. But I'd like to hear what this delicious specimen has to offer first. I don't think credits are your thing. Whoever fights as my new champion could ask any favor of me. If I'm your champion, I'll expect all sorts of favors. Is that really what you're into? Delicious. For a moment, I thought Borga might kill you, Bounty Hunter. I wanted you to get your entertainment value. You most certainly did that. This is the famous Star of Aldera, the most valuable gem in the galaxy. No, Master. Not your most prized possession. We must fight. Quiet, N.K. We never stand a chance. Alderaan's royal family would pay a fortune to get this gem back. Let me go, and it's yours. Do I look that gullible to you? You can't blame a guy for trying. Take the gem anyway. <laughs> I insist. What if I told you there's a duplicate of yours truly? A replica identical in all respects. Even a bioscan couldn't tell the difference. You made a copy of yourself? One was bad enough. So I'll need a new name. After all, Tiresias Loci is dead. And what do you think of the name Galt Renault? Has a nice ring to it. Galt suits you just fine, scum sucker. Hey, you're back. And Tiresias is still alive. Guess you two are bonding, huh? The name's Galt, remember? Galt Renault. And yes, we're getting along famously. Is that so? For once, he's telling the truth. I've always heard how beautiful Alderaan's supposed to be. 
Figures I'm gonna see it in the middle of a war. At least he'll still be pretty in the holos. Don't sweat it. When we win the Great Hunt, I'm taking you on vacation. Just ignore it. Maybe it'll wander away. What's a beautiful young thing like you doing hanging on the arm of this old prune? I was so overwhelmed by your charm and good looks that I thought I might faint. He can have that effect on people, my lady. Wouldn't be the first time I caught a swooning maiden. You're in good hands. Am I now? You must leave. Now. And use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. Guess I should have warned my other blaster. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. Used to be five paces. I suppose the war is making people jumpy. I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. That's quite a mouth you've got there. Mom was a nerf herder, huh? If you have no honor and will not prove yourself, I have no reason to further tolerate your presence. I felt like a leisurely walk anyway. All right, all right. You've done the job of a ten-year-old boy. I'll grant you that. It's hard to believe you have to offer kickbacks with that winning personality of yours. Now I've unlocked my half of the security key. You may return to Baron Zacker, appearing somewhat competent. I'll be sure to tell him you didn't soil yourself when we met. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me. Did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? Just saves me the trouble of taking him off the payroll. You're back without incident. I'm surprised Lord Malthus didn't raise a stir. Insufferable man. I don't let shops get me riled. But that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? You work well under fire. Ever thought about bounty hunting? Don't be preposterous. Accept your hand? <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. Anything for a lady. D this must be some kind of mistake! Ugh. These houses. Thule vassals. Ulgo vassals. House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thule. Sounds like he's prepping you guys for a good beatdown. The Rists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. Anybody who can't kill someone face to face ain't a concern of mine. Oh, I've heard of Rist. Absolutely ruthless and unbelievably deadly. I'd stay behind you, but that's the direction they'll be coming. Duke Corwin took his leave of House Rist on a shuttle just moments ago. Rather hastily, I might add. So hastily, he neglected to pay me. A rather gauche breach of etiquette. And unwise. Folks don't think so clearly when I'm hot on their trail. Regardless, congratulations are in order for surviving this long. It's more than can be said for the last bounty hunter to stalk our dear Duke. I do got this funny habit of breathing. You could easily get close enough to eliminate everyone at once. You're the obvious choice for the job. Sharp one, this guy. I say we do him the favor. It's a simple decision, really. Death. Or profit. Double dealing is bad for my reputation. In my experience, money makes up for it. Look, he didn't mean that. His helmet's just on too tight. Give me a minute to talk it over with him. Goodbye. Lady Corwin agreed to help us and her. Strong family resemblance allowed her to make a convincing double for her brother. Ah, if I'd known it was that easy, my double cost me a hut's fortune. We sent her to House Rist, to maintain the illusion that the Durasteel Duke was alive and well until she finished negotiating those alliances. That's gonna be tough once I claim my bounty. That's true, but we could continue our ruse until you confirm Duke Corwin's death. Since you're more than capable of taking Duke Corwin from us, we won't resist under two conditions. Leave peacefully, and speak nothing of this deception to anyone. Hmm, free money or blood money? Life's always full of tough decisions. Will you agree to those terms? Lady, I'm getting paid by the corpse, unless you got a better offer. You looking for trouble? No need to be alarmed. I'm only here to deliver a message. It is unfortunate that our individual arrangements had us at odds earlier, but that's simply the nature of our business. My master wishes to ensure that there's no ill will left between us. I don't know. 
I can be real temperamental. I find credits help lighten my mood. Ara robbed you of your allies in this competition. It seems only fitting that you return the favor. I'd rather bury his family, but friends are a start. Taro followed your codes, Commander. He stood tall in the last great hunt, and the others pulled him down like a pack of wild beasts. He learned from that, and this time he will take us to the top. Taro does this for his wounded pride alone. Why can't you see that? Some people were born to ride coattails. Taro's their shortcut to fame. Well fought, Hunter. I see in you the future of my people. If you mean bowing at my feet, then yes. Bold words. May your experience meet your ambition. This the rest of you shall allow this hunter to finish the great hunt in peace. No, Commander. Our pledge to Taro stands. You are no Mandalorians. That make you feel tough, shooting an old man. He's gotten away with Braden's murder way too long. He needs to pay. This saves us the trouble of hunting Taro down. Okay, Taro blood deserves a rather gruesome end. I get that. But are we really going to fight a Jedi Master? Jedi are all talk. No, I'm all talk. Jedi Masters are something else entirely. What? We've been caught in a tractor beam. Attention unidentified vessel. This is the Republic Cruiser Aurora. You are in a restricted zone. Prepare to be brought aboard for a full inspection. If you offer any resistance, we will open fire. Well, what now? We wanted to get inside, didn't we? And we don't even have to park. They're really making it easy for us. Good point. Maybe if we ask real nice, they'll even take us right to Master Kelly and Jaro, and Taro too. This is your last warning. Drop your weapons and surrender, or we will open fire. Sorry, I want my blaster handy when I see Taro. So, you're still alive, huh? You might be worth killing after all. Hurry up and let me out of here so we can settle this once and for all. Unless facing me as an equal frightens you. The cell suits you. Brings out the scumbag. Of course. Someone like you could never dream of defeating me. All you can do is ogle like some insignificant bystander. Come on. Surprise me. Open the door and face me like a warrior. Where's the fun in that? I want to hear you beg. <sighs> Figures you are a lowlife. Fine. I'm begging you. I can't die like this. Please! Revenge and humiliation go well together. I say let him out. Besides, how could you ignore a face like that? Listen to your friend. Let me out of this cage. You'll die alone and forgotten, Taro. So long. No! You can't let me die like this! I'm Taro Blood, you worthless piece of filth! I'm the future of the Mandalorians! This will be more comfortable for you. My friend here would have killed you slowly. Let me out, damn you! You can't do this to me! I'm Taro Blood! Taro Blood! You've caused quite a bit of trouble, but I'm afraid it's over now. I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender. So... has that ever worked? Some people have sense. Others must be persuaded. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. You will realize what a complete idiot you are. Master? Be still, Padawan. I will take care of this. This bounty hunter has a much stronger will than the other one. Listen. I know the Mandalorians want me dead, but the Battle of Coruscant was years ago. Revenge profits no one. I implore you not to throw your life away. Abandon this hunt. You have your codes, I have mine. Always fulfill a contract. What are you waiting for, bounty hunter? Kill me, just like you killed my master. Go on! I'm turning this ship to dust in a minute. I suggest you not be on it. We'll meet again, bounty hunter. I swear it. Ah, uh, kids, so impressionable. You think letting her go was a good idea? There was no reason to kill her. Want to take bets on that? The hunter returns a hero. Sure is good to see you all in one piece. Ah, uh, I'm sure there are bits missing here and there. We can check for those later, sugar. Mandalore himself requested your presence aboard his flagship. He wants to congratulate his champion personally. We're getting an audience with Mandalore? You've got to be kidding. I can hardly believe it. No more bit jobs and small paychecks for me. He's back. How'd it go? I did more than find it. Ugly. How did you kill it when so many of my clan have failed? If they had your attitude, it's no surprise they failed. 
You're so hungry for a fight, you don't think about what you're getting into. Bounty hunting's about fighting smart, as much as fighting hard. Well, the guest of honor's finally arrived. Not much to look at. The subject's size-mass ratio would beg to differ. Shut up. We sent a little welcoming present to your ship. A blacklist bounty. One of the two oldest on record, to be exact. Something to ease you into life at the top. I was wondering what I was gonna do with myself. About time you two got back. What happened? Well, first we met all the other winners of the Great Hunt, then Mandalore made our friend here part of his clan, then we all got properly sloshed. Are you serious? Tell me he's just messing with me. Definitely not what I was expecting. I can't believe you just left me here. It's not like I've spent my whole life wanting to meet these people or anything. They don't have what you want. They've been hiding in here since the Imperial transports hit the ground. Let them go, and I'll tell you what you want to know. You're gonna tell me anyway. If I don't like what I hear, they all die. You really don't want to hold out on my friend here. We haven't made contact with any Mandalorian troops, but we've been dealing with sniper attacks the last few weeks. I'm certain the sniper's been taking shelter at an old excavation site nearby, but everyone I've sent to investigate has turned up dead. There. You know everything I do. Let the civilians go. You just bought their lives. Eh, yeah, probably jump change anyway, right? I don't <laughs> like that. Yeah, yep, definitely don't like this. Thought you'd be harder to get the drop on. Bad idea, kid. <laughs> Now, you gonna tell me what you're doing out here? Blast, 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 blast! Does this look infected to you? So, is Art is finally sending children to do his dirty work? Run home now and tell Mandalore if he wants my head, he should come and take it himself. You gonna face me like a warrior, or make me chase you all over Terrace? He will place honors, prize possessions around a battlefield. You will try to take them. If you take all of them, then you must take his home. This is a lot of trouble for a duel. I'm at the coordinates. No sign of Jenkin, just some sort of marker. Not good. Holy, hey, hey, if you want me to steal your ship and run, then just lie still and don't move. You've been out there a while. Really didn't want to come back empty handed, did you? Calling it quits? No shame in bowing out after a good run? They don't call it quitting after you cross the finish line. Jink and Kadera sitting in my cargo hold on carbonite freeze. You actually caught him? <laughs> How do you like that? It would have been a shame if old age turned out to be the only match for Jink and Kadera. Don't look so proud of yourself. You bagged somebody's grandpa. Your lucky streak won't last. Here to put your money where your mouth is? Not much to look at, but it's home. No complaints. Hey. Remember what it looked like when we stole it? Got me there. Nice! Now I know we hit the big time. I'm sure the story doesn't end there. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Some bigwig from a DAS Corp just sent us an offer with more zeros than I can count. And thinking I don't get enough work in the private sector these days. They want you to endorse their new line of battlefield adrenals, but only if you pick up the contract as soon as possible. I'm a professional hunter, not some celebrity mouthpiece. Well, I am, and for that much money, I'd be glad to fill in for you. Some dignity. Let me handle the negotiations and we'll be rolling in credits. I'll only take a 30% cut. Not how I'd want to be remembered. Excuse my manners. Peyton Swole, Director of Galactic Relations. Thought you suits at least try to impress me. Agent Dahl, Strategic Information Service. I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Jedi Master Kellyan Jaro and the destruction of the Republic cruiser Aurora. Touch me, and you'll end up in a body bag. Come on, I spared you. Let me go and we'll call it even. Your mercy doesn't exonerate you. It's too bad you ain't satisfied. I think I'll take my leave now. You've only made matters worse for yourself. Duly noted. More trouble. Just an inconvenience. Just wanted to transfer your next target. That is, if you're ready for another Blacklist favorite. I'd hate to miss another chance to outdo you. I was hoping you'd say that. 
Aia ta suta un titi A shumë duke rata të rotë ua Qumi ko abuat lo Karuza suga bak novo U balare duke i buja Think all the white man will be this threatening? Amoras, ka gjava Kur unsk ka Ore pleci, kajo mraunar Do unsk ka It's not your hunt you should be worried about, snakeskin Tos, tanga, rastak Shivir, skorsk, gus Zomkelis Ram oras kajaba kur unska orakleksi kajo raunar do unska. You wouldn't be the first unstoppable target I've taken down. Quit squealing, you're making me queasy. Eg morti na nyanika pati furudo viti kru. Real sorry for your loss. Now whose pride did I wound so badly that they resorted to a hired gun? The Republic? The Empire? Both? Hate to burst your bubble, but you're just the means to an end. You really have no idea who I am, do you? Just some ugly alien about to eat a blaster to the face. He gonna feel the same way after I wipe the floor with you? It'll teach you not to play with your food. From Oras, Kajaba, Gurkunska, Oreplexi, Rajo Raunor, Dokunska. What your destiny is gonna eat is my boot, lizard. Still thinks he's gonna win. I'll show him how loose the definition of life bounty is. Sojarad Mas Osla, Svetod Tranis, Gundapolua, your scam pocket. I'm gonna have to decline. Well, if we're done here, I'm gonna go take a nice long shower. Take Blizz with you. I don't think he's familiar with the concept. Now that you're up to your ears and credits, you'll need an excuse to spend them. My wish list's already ten parsecs long. You decided all this success of yours is cause for celebration, so we're throwing you a party. We've procured a penthouse suite for the occasion. Best spot on the promenade, I'm told. You'd better show. Who could resist an invitation like that? Come on, big guy. You never show me a good time. Oh, I'll show you a good time, all right. Um, public. Are you two finished? The room's already booked on Nashada. You can meet us there. I hope this visit's better than the last. You ready to hit the promenade in style? Pretty girls are always in style. Galt tell you to say that? Come on, you goof. They're offering a 10 million credit bounty for your capture. Figures the best bounty in the galaxy is the only one I can't claim. Congratulations, that's more than every price on my head combined. There's the fleet. I hope you're right about this. I look on the bright side. They open fire, and we'll be breaking the galactic record for going from zero to space dust. Battle stations? Warm up the turrets. Keep the targeting computers on standby. Charging to full. Blizz, shields. Leah Starley and Bulldog. Hail the flagship. You know this is probably a trap. Even if they don't shoot us down, handing us over to the Republic would probably help deflect the flak they've been getting. That ain't gonna happen. Doesn't mean they won't try. Hailing, they're transmitting a flight path. We're to dock in Hangar 8. They aren't shooting at us. So far, so good. Well, we're committed now. I've been ordered to bring you before my lord, Darth Tormen. Submit to search and seizure and come quietly. I don't really care for that plan. You will not be allowed before a lord of the Sith armed. You will comply. Willingly or by force. Anyone still around by the time the lieutenant here hits the ground, joins him. Seize this scum! Cowards! You'll all be court-martialed! Quite a pile we stacked up. So, do we make a run for it? Doubt we'd make the jump to hyperspace. We're flying out of here on this bird. You want to steal an Imperial capital ship? Oh man, that have him red in the face. I see you disposed of your escort. I can't say I appreciate Sith hospitality. Corellia is where we will put them down. There are obstacles that must be removed before we can act. You will remove them. I'm afraid I don't deal with obstacles. 
Last I'd heard, Bell Savas wasn't even worth colonizing. The Imperials have it designated as a Republic prison world, though. I like a sense of mystery and excitement. That's something I like about you, even if your taste is a little questionable. This is my direct hollow frequency. I am on call should you need me. After cross referencing their records with Dad on the Holonet, I hit Pater. Surprise, surprise. There are a lot of people locked up on Bell Savas with outstanding bounties. Can't have that, can we? I thought you might feel that way. What are you standing around for? Let's blast this place to pieces! I don't throw temper tantrums. It ain't a temper tantrum! I got an idea how to keep this heap talking. There's lots more junk like this thing, walking around, keeping the runts in line. They get built at a plant deeper in. If there's parts to hotwire this trash, then shock some answers out of it. Not the worst idea I've ever heard. Course it ain't. Follow my lead, or I'll cut you loose. Got it? Gonna boss me around, huh? Fine. But your friend takes a hike, too. In case you're thinking you can pull something. I'm not worried. Look, we could settle our differences. But not right here. I have to stop the Empire. I'm not buying whatever it is you're selling. We've got you outgunned. If you want to fight, I can give it to you. You help us foil their rescue. Permanently. And I'll go quietly. I try not to bite the hand that feeds me. Can't blame a guy for trying. I was starting to think we'd have to finish without you. Buddy, you've got no idea what you just got yourself into. You don't say. Why don't you come a little closer and explain it to me? Let him go before you do something you can't take back. You should really take your own advice. How? Oh, this should have been total overkill. Buddy, I'll show you overkill. It was just a job. The Overseer says kill, I kill. You know how it is. I don't get a say. I want out. I don't care how good the money is. It's not worth it. Remember what you saw here today. Remind everyone why crossing me is a bad idea. Finished? You know, I was actually starting to miss you. Glad to see you both made it back okay. Welcome back, kid. Thanks. We back on the hunt? We'll head out after a little R&R. &R. I think it's deserved. Seconded. The Ambassador is concerned that your business could jeopardize the Empire's interests on Voss. My employer would argue otherwise. It's just that your kind aren't known for stepping lightly. Voss revere their mystics. D deal carefully with them, or, or preferably not at all. Also, outsiders are barred from Voskar proper. Pretend like I've never been here before. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a safe visit. <laughs> I started tuning out myself. Take this holo recorder. If you make any discoveries, transmit the evidence to my frequency. If you insist. But I want copies for my scrapbook. Oh, for my own sanity, I'm going to pretend you're taking this seriously. Perimeter, report. Perimeter, those charges prime, Sergeant. Perimeter's on radio silence. Permanently. Hard to work when you're dead. As to this trials business, I had to show the Voss we're willing to do anything the Republic will do. You understand? Have you thought this through, or were you just blowing hot air? Outsider, my master saw you were coming. He awaits in the Cloister of Meditation. Thought you were the healers, not the prophets. What? You are... This is a misconception. We've got common interests. We should work together. I'm not big on haggling anyway. Blizz, did they tell you about our target or not? I expected we'd cross paths again, but not here. You're keeping interesting company these days, General. It's not hard to find people who share a desire for peace and prosperity. I'm so close to getting these people on speaking terms, and you're about to throw it all away. For what, money? Tell me you're not that petty. 
You're between me and a man spouting lies. Nothing personal. I think that's a small sacrifice for peace. Nothing personal. You're back. Oh, I hadn't heard one word since you left for the trials. I thought she'd got the best of you. I suppose no news is good news in this case. If you'd raised any suspicion capturing her, I'd have heard about it. Whatever General Redrush's plans were, it seems we've avoided the fallout. Your confidence in my abilities is flattering. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. Can't wait to rub this rescue in Torment's face. If you're gonna rub his face in something, make it the dirt. Please don't. I've restored control to the bridge. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? I didn't blast through here because I was bored. Oh, uh, no, of course not. Um, thank you. I have you to thank for a ship. You can add this to my bill. Resistance will be heavy, but the Council Tower has several structural weaknesses we can exploit. The only thing stopping you from accessing the tower through the main lobby is sheer manpower. I hope you're not suggesting I take the stairs. Our next objective is to bring Corellia's beasts to heal. You will be the one to break them. You want an animal handler? Find a circus. Silence. <laughs> Trying to locate the Salonian raiders in the guts of Coronet City would be almost futile. Instead, you'll target an invaluable Salonian resource and force these raiders to defend it. I was getting tired of chasing all my targets down anyway. Well, look at you. Waltzing in here like you own the place. Come to finish what they started? Go on and kill me. You'll have a million citizens rioting in the streets by sundown. Huh. Guess I'd be in real trouble if I were here to kill you. Your success is noted. So is your gratitude. It was only a matter of time. As Prime Minister for life, let me be the first to welcome you to Imperial Corellia, my lord. Had you delivered what you promised, you would enjoy a longer reign. That how you conclude all your business? When the agreement is not upheld. An intruder! Go. Do your part to liberate Corellia. This is a private matter. I'll take all the help you can get, Jedi. Indulging your grudge is wasteful enough. You're persistent. Stubborn. I suppose that's why you excel at what you do, but the price is high. What won't a Mandalorian put aside for pride? I'd meet death head on for a comrade. But would you kneel? You could have surrendered at any time. You chose to become a murderer and terrorist. I only turned all that senseless destruction toward a righteous purpose. Killing my associates and slinging mud? Real noble. They made their decision, just like you made yours. If using you to expose the Sith's true face has dirtied my hands, so be it. It's time to answer for your crimes. You read my mind. <laughs> I won't be the one after all. Now whose pride's getting them into trouble? Savor your vengeance. It's a small victory. You've denied me nothing here. In failure, I've undone all your accomplishments. In death, I return to the Force. I thought Jedi were supposed to be detached. Why'd you make this personal? If you believe you can distance yourself from the harm you cause, you're deluding yourself. <coughs> you're not some mindless tool. You're accountable. Your actions will catch up with you eventually. <sighs> Rep 
Republic cannot be based on deception, especially on matters of war. The false accusations will disappear as the truth is separated from the lies. It's not a clean slate, but it's what you deserve. I'm willing to take things a step further, if you're willing to work with me. One good turn deserves another. What are you offering? Immunity. If you're willing to show me you're not firmly in the Empire's pocket. June believed you were in league with a Sith named Tormen. Is that true? Tormen sent me to collect your head. I feared as much. He's using us to make his mark. Tormen's a monster. His troops have been butchering Corellians. On Raban, he flattened kilometers of homes, businesses, hospitals. A man like that can't be given more power. Let's fix this while we're in a position to do so. Keep your word and we'll pull Tormund's plug. You reek of vengeance and satisfaction. The Supreme Chancellor's death has excited your passions. Relish it. Experience some small measure of what it is to be Sith. Now, deliver what I have asked of you. I'm done dancing to your tune, Tormund. I expected better. This was deserved. Rule with a clenched fist? You better be prepared to scrap. Trusting in a tool, however useful, was a mistake. The task of delivering the master stroke I should have reserved for myself. The galaxy would know. None are beyond my reach. All would cower or they would burn. And the Dark Council would see how total victory is achieved. Rest in peace, Tormen. Just this once. I was hoping to find you alive. Quite a narrow escape. Darth Tormund was not as fortunate, I trust. The only thing he escaped was a costly burial. Good. At least it's done. Perhaps it's best that I'm getting out of politics. Ranging assassinations couldn't be farther from what I've stood for. After falling this far... I suppose there's no point in trying to recover my principles. Coming clean would only do more harm than good. You don't cast off honor when it's inconvenient. I never said I was excusing my failures. Only living with them. It was for a greater good. We may be far from achieving peaceful coexistence, but the fewer men like Tormund that come to power, the better our chances. As far as anyone knows, Tormund died in a foolish naval battle. Let's leave it that way. You're a good man, Chancellor. The Republic will be worse off without you. I'm glad you weren't the monster June made you out to be. You'll be exonerated as I promised. Even if my replacement questions the justification, overturning it would be more trouble than it's worth. I'm also sending a small reimbursement for your lost wages. It isn't much. There are more important things than pride and wealth. I hope you'll continue to use such good judgment in the future. I didn't need to finish the job to know I had you dead to rights. You're alive because killing the Dark Lord of the Sith was too good an opportunity to resist. Retire someplace quiet. Next time, you might not be so lucky. Now, if you'll excuse me, bigger challenges await.